Hi guys, in this video presentation, we are going to learn the main difference between centroid and center of gravity. Most of the students has a doubt whether these both are the same. However, there is a slightly difference between them. So in this video, we are going to focus what are the difference between centroid and center of gravity. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Also, if you have any doubts, please comment it below. As you can see in this slide, the centroid means the point where the whole area of the figure is assumed to be concentrated. Which means if I draw a circle, the area of the circle is assumed to be concentrated in a point. That point is known as centroid. So remember that that we are going to assume that the whole area is in a point, whole area in a point. At the same time, what's mean by center of gravity is the whole weight of the figure is assumed to be concentrated at a point. That's known as center of gravity. Most of the time, centroid and the center of gravity will at the same point. Be careful when we are talking about the centroid, we can only calculate centroid according to the definition in a plane or in an area, not in the volume. However, when we are calculating the center of gravity, we can also calculate it for area and volume also. So be careful according to the definition, the point where the whole area of the figure. So it's talking about a plane. So the whole area is assumed to be concentrated. That's the main point. As I have given two circles in this slide, let's assume the first circle is purely made with wood. So there's one circle made with wood. Let's think what would be the centroid. As we all know, the center of the circle would be the centroid because the centroid means the point where the whole area is assumed to be concentrated. Like the geometric center of this circle. Also, if we calculated the center of gravity, it would be also in the same point because the wood is a homogeneous material. But in the second image, I have used two separate materials to make this circle. As you can see, the half part is made by wood and another half part is made by steel. If we made a circle like this using these two materials, as we all know, the center of gravity will move towards steel because steel's density is higher than the wood. The whole weight of the figure would be concentrated at the, it moves towards steel. However, if we assume the area, the area of the circle is always in the center of the circle. So the centroid and the center of gravity in the second circle are different. So not this point. So these are like a similar, but there are some differences you should note. Let's see how to derive the equation for centroid. When we are calculating the centroid, when we are deriving the equation for centroid, we will assume that we can uh, cut the pieces, cut the figure into small, small pieces. As I have given in this image, the picture, the area of the picture is A, I have already denoted there. However, I have divided into small pieces like DA, which is referred by that small dot or small circle. However, I haven't filled with uh, circles in that area, but assume that we can divide those area 
into small small pieces like that d a when we are calculating the first moment of area about x axis which similar to moment of weight moment of a force when we are calculating the moment of a force we will directly multiply force into distance like that when we are calculating the moment of area why are we telling the first moment of area we are going to calculate the first time so that's why we are going to call that first moment of area is similar to that that means instead of force for the moment we are going to use da the area of a small piece also we are going to multiply it by y the distance between the x axis and the da particle as i have mentioned in the picture after that we are going to integrate that what's mean by that integration we are going we should find each and every da and the pi for that da i'm going to multiply it them and we are going to add all of the values to find what's the first moment of area which means moment of area as we have given that is equals to integration of y into da that's mean by by into da after that let's assume the whole area the centroid is in the g i have denoted by g let's assume that the whole say area is concentrated as the centroid g the distance between the x axis and the g centroid is y bar like when we are equating the moment at the total with the resultant force moment it seems that that we should multiply by bar into total area a which would be similar if we calculate by into da for the all pieces in that area and at all of them from that we can derive an equation y bar into a the whole area multiplied by the distance from x axis to centroid the total area is assumed to be concentrated at that point g if we simplify that we would get the y bar which would be equal to integration of y into da over area similarly we can also derive the second equation i have shown here x bar is equal to x da over a by calculating the first moment of area about y axis so this is a simple method it's similar to moment if we calculate the moment of all forces in an area and it will it would be equals to the moment of the resultant force that's a concept here we are going to take that whole area is centralized in a point of this figure the next important thing we are going to discuss here is symmetry what's mean by symmetry as we all know when we are going to draw a symmetry fit draw a line of symmetry line axis of symmetry it would separate it would equally divide the area and another main point would be it would divide the areas equally also it would be the mirror image so when we are uh, when an area is having a symmetric line axis of symmetry the main point is the central of this area is located on the axis of symmetry why is that as i have given in this image let's assume that y axis is the symmetry axis of symmetry if we calculate the first moment of area 
from the y axis, we are going to multiply each and every da by x value. As I have shown in this image, if we multiply a point from da into ax, there will another point in the negative side which is equal to that magnitude. So the total would be zero. From that we can tell integration of x into da is equal to zero. Also, we have already derived that x bar would be integration of x into da over area. As I have mentioned here, x into da, the integration of x into da would be zero. So the x bar would be zero. What is mean by the x bar is the centroid, the, different, uh, the distance between the centroid and the y-axis would be zero. So we can directly tell the centroid of this area is located on the axis of symmetry. Hope this video would be useful for you. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please comment it below. Thank you.